Hello and welcome. My name is Kate Griffiths from Whole Self Leadership and I'm coming on today to share with you some thoughts about the coming week to support you. And I feel a bit like there's a big sigh and breath because we have now received the results of the US election. And we have seen something incredible happen. The first female vice president, the first African American woman at that level. So what is possible here? What is happening? And as I reflected on that this morning, I was drawn to the following bottles. It is called Unlimited Wealth, and I write extensively about it in my newsletter. If you want to understand what prosperity really is all about, it's not about chasing the money. Just look and see what your answers are to three key questions, and you can find those on my latest article on my website. So if you're curious, take a look. The second bottle I got was this one. What do you make of this? Also, it has that gold color in the top, but this time an olive green in the bottom. What do you make of those? How do they make you feel? What do you notice? What are you aware of? Take a look at this combination. Similar but subtly different. Which combination do you prefer? Go with your gut feel. There's no wrong answer. It's all just information. So the first combination, the deeper gold and the olive green are saying to us that there is wisdom here and that you're starting to connect to your authentic power, letting go of the persecution that we experienced as Cathars so that you can create alchemy and it's beautiful and powerful and as you work through that as you can see I'm wearing the pale gold and olive green and that says I am the magician there's no doubt you know your power and you wield it thoughtfully creating magic for others as well as yourself and interestingly, we have this. This coaster that I bought about a year ago, created at, from a painting by Mariah Hope Carey, an amazing woman who's very intuitive. And she calls this combination abundance. So it connects all the way back to that unlimited wealth at the beginning. Wealth for me is W-E-L-L-T-H. And when we are in our power, we know that we are co-creators of the universe and that there are opportunities there awaiting us. And it, that is why I have created a group, a Sangha, bringing people together. Because this is an incredible time to be alive. We're in a time of transition, massive transformation. And we can no longer do this on our own. You know, isolated pockets of magic ain't gonna cut it anymore. We need to come together because our power as a collective is so much stronger and it transmutes and transforms at a much 
more rapid rate. And yet there is resistance because in gold we also have that resistance, that need to hold on to control, the last look at the ego. And why is that? Because people don't want to reveal all of themselves in their imperfectness. They want to show up as the mu magician. And the fact of the matter is that life is a journey. And there is power in your vulnerability. And we're all learning how to create more and to be there. And it's about showing up as that. And it's only as you show up in that way that you find your way to wholeness. That's the truth of it. Not going off on your own. I mean, you can do that, and people have. It just takes a lot longer. It also takes courage to say, I don't know, and to be the learner in front of others rather than the teacher. And yet this is a Sort of paradox that we're holding. We are both the teacher and the student, and it's interchangeable in this time because olive green is also the color of the divine feminine. And what it's saying is, all these rules are rubbish, they're what hold you back. It should be like this, I should be this, people should behave in this way. And when we do that, we constrict ourselves and constrain the energy. Enough already. Step forth in all your messiness. Birth, think about it. Birth of anything and birth of enlightenment and beingness. It's all messy, visceral. That's the nature of life and that is the invitation. I have one other thing that I want to share with you and I got two different types of medicine. So I'd like you to look at these and feel into which one relates to you. The first I picked was fox. Fox wisdom. Fox is brilliant at camouflage, subterfuge almost. There's a cunningness about fox. Fox is hiding in the foliage, you don't see him. And he observes all the patterns and then makes his move. So is that what you're asked to do right now? To be as swift as the wind and also to watch, not to react, to sit with it all. And I also got a very different message. Oh, and that's upside down. I got antelope medicine. This is very different and here's a story. Apparently antelope went and stood among men many many moons ago and they were hungry men and women and he said look eating fruit and berries isn't going to cut it guys. My job is to be of sacrifice to you to put my life down so you can survive and you can learn by devouring me and taking into my wisdom into yourselves. So kill me, because that is my job for your evolution. Wear my fur as a coat to keep you warm and only take what you need. So antelope medicine is reminding you that you have all the answers. You are in your power and it is time to take action. As long as we do it respectfully, respectful for nature, for all the other aspects around us. So this is the invitation also right now. So feel into what are you drawn to? What is it that you need right now? And if you have any questions or comments, do put them beneath the video and I will respond as I am here for you. I love you and I see you. Until we meet again, go well and may your life be full of magic and blessings. Bye for now.